quality, perhaps, if I may say that. Um, sure, you know, I'll say it myself. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you, are, are you working on your start to keep up with these guys over 60? Oh, of course, I mean, everybody works on their start. You know, I think that's the, the most fun day as a sprinter. You get to work on blocks. Uh, so, uh, of course, you know, got my whole team. Everybody gets excited working on blocks. I decided to switch my feet. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. <laughs> Which way? Which well, I used to start with my uh, left leg back, and now I decided to switch it so now my right leg is the back leg. Oh. Did Josephus also switch? Josephus did not switch. No? Okay. No, no. You're setting a trend. I'm sorry? You're setting a trend in switching feet. Am I? <laughs> Are other people doing this? <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? Um, no, you've been in the army many times. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. From the high school days, we can all recall your exciting performance where we all thought, oh my goodness, this youngster's got some real talent. Um, did you ever imagine this journey would be the way it's become? Uh, yes and no. Uh, there's definitely things that I imagined. Uh, of course, I imagined turning pro, uh, imagine breaking records, you know. Um, a little sad to see that my high school 200 record went down, but to be honest, at the same time, it's very exciting to see the next generation come behind me. Uh, of course, I had seen myself competing against fast people, you know, case in point. Uh, it's, uh, again, things that I didn't think were gonna happen. You know, I thought I would've had a gold medal by now. That's all right. <laughs> we're gonna keep it pushing. It gives me more drive for uh, these coming years. Um, I expect to become a world champion. That's happening, and uh, you know, I never expect to be the greatest 60 runner, but at the same time, I expect myself to put in competition any time I show up. How was Tokyo for you? <laughs> hey Trayvon, how was Tokyo? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I wasn't going to mention I don't think anybody <laughs> wants to talk about Tokyo. Uh, I mean, I love the country. I have great love for it. And unfortunately, I feel that it wasn't able to be shown off like how it was when we went for World Relays in 2019. And that, that sucks, you know, because there were so many good parts that nobody got to see. I've, I've seen the crowd go insanely nuts just from seeing us walk from the warm-up area to the track at the World Relays and it was just dead silent in that stadium and all I could think of was wow this is my first Olympics and I can't even have a crowd they were barely letting athletes come and watch their teammates I'm like dang this, this is a bummer we promise you a crowd tomorrow Oh, that's true. I would love to hear a crowd. Uh -huh. And you'll look forward, obviously, to, to Paris. Before that, we get to Oregon for the World Championships again. Yes, so, sir. Looking forward to that? Oh, of course. Home turf, reigning champion, get to hear a crowd. <laughs> what more could you want? Christian, you'll look forward to Oregon? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this summer, so, for sure. Good. And turn on. Well, I mean, Oregon, I got a special place there, you know, with winning uh, World Indoors, with that being in Oregon for the first time on soil, and now we got the outdoors. I think it's gonna be a good year. Gentlemen, thanks very much. We look forward to seeing you in the 60 tomorrow. Enjoy, take care. Photograph.